Welcome to Self Love Ignited. My name is Katie Allen. I am your host, and we are all about igniting the flame of self love and body acceptance inside of you. This podcast is here to inspire, motivate, and educate you so that you really truly can learn how to love all parts of yourself. What are you waiting for? Let's get to it. Welcome back to Self Love Ignited. My name is Katie. I am your host. And today I am answering a question that I get a lot. This is something that I think is a fear for many people when they talk about self love. And it might resonate with you. You might not even know you have this fear, but I would bet that somewhere deep inside, this is inside of you. And that simply is. Will self-love make me fat and lazy? Will self-love make me fat and lazy? And I think this question comes up a lot because there's a lot of things in the media that sort of misconstrue what misconstrue, sorry, what self-love is and what it isn't and what it looks like. And now of course there is no one definition, but I want to talk to you guys a little bit today about what self-love is according to my definition, um, what self-love is not, and how self-love will show up in your life every day. And I think that by, well, I don't think, I know that by talking you through this, this is going to quiet that fear a little bit. Um, and hopefully make it one less barrier for you to embark on this self-love journey. So let's start with what is self-love, right? That is, that's a, it's a pretty obvious starting point. So what is self-love? A definition of self-love that I like to use is you know, because I think self-love is so overused, like I said, and that is heart to yourself. And you might be like, but Katie, that's the same thing. But HEART is an acronym. And it stands for Harmony, Empathy, Acceptance, Respect, and Trust. And when I'm talking about self-love, I'm talking about you embodying all of these things in your relationship with yourself. So Harmony, right? Working with yourself rather than against yourself. Empathy, having self-empathy, it's, it's pretty much the same thing as having self-compassion, right? It's like being easy on yourself. Um, acceptance, accepting where you are in this moment without judgment. Respect, respecting your needs, your wants, your desires, respecting your boundaries, it's a big one, and trust. And Trust really can look like lots of things, but essentially it's, you know, trusting your words that you do what you say you're going to do. Trust that you're not going to bully me. Trust that you're not going to criticize me or trust that you're not going to criticize yourself, I should say. But so when I'm talking about self-love, I'm talking about you embodying those attributes and really doing all you can for yourself. And self-love can look like lots of different things, right? It can be loving thoughts, right? Where we where we quiet that inner critic, where we have that self-empathy, where we have that acceptance, we quiet that judgment. It can be loving feelings. So it can literally be feeling the emotion of love for yourself. And then there's loving actions, which is how you embody each of these attributes into your life every single day day. And I'm hoping that what you see from this is that self-love is not laziness. It's not excuses. It's not vegging on the couch forever. Self-love is not about not doing things for yourself. It's not about not exercising. It's not about, you know, eating fast food all the time and abusing your body it is the complete opposite of that. 
Self-love is about honoring your body and doing everything you can to take care of it. Self-love is about eating amazing food because you know that it's good for your body, it's good for your mind, and it lights you up. Self-love is about moving your body in a way that feels amazing and really, truly encompasses, you know, well-being as a whole. Self-love is about knowing that you are more than just a number on a scale. And it's also about understanding that you are still allowed to care about that number on a scale while you love yourself. Nothing about this is an either or. Nothing about this is, you know, settling. Nothing about this is just being lazy forever. I really hope that you can see that self-love is showing up for yourself in the most beautiful, complete way possible, right? So this shows up in your life every single day as caring for your physical well-being, your mental well-being, your emotional well-being, showing up for yourself, treating yourself with kindness and embodying those attributes of, you know, heart yourself. And again, just to repeat those for you, HEART is an acronym. It stands for harmony, empathy, acceptance, respect, and trust. And those are the attributes that I would really encourage you to embody in your relationship with yourself. And the beautiful thing about this is that it's a bit of a positive feedback loop with your health and your well being. And I hope that I have illustrated that already you know when you are really loving yourself and you're doing all of these things and you're making sure that you are you know being empathetic and accepting and respectful and that you're trusting yourself that that automatically like sort of on default leads to you being healthier right healthier mind body spirit for some people, that might mean weight loss, right? So that whole like self-love will make you fat and lazy. Not necessarily. Not necessarily. And if you are an entrepreneur listening to this, and I know that many of you are, um, the beautiful thing about this is that there is a third part of this feedback loop that works beautifully for us. I am also an entrepreneur, of course. So I include myself in this, but there's a beautiful third part of this feedback loop in that when you are really loving towards yourself, when you are embodying this idea of heart, you know, heart yourself, when you are working on your health and well being, it makes showing up in your business, it makes being visible in your business so much easier because you are coming at that from a place of feeling really solid within yourself feeling really secure of knowing that you have got yourself. And when you do that, it makes showing up on camera, maybe doing things like Facebook lives, maybe it's posting photos, maybe it is posting audios such as this podcast. Maybe it is having a photo shoot done for your branding, for your social media, for your website. It makes all of that easier. This is not an either or. This is not a, I can either love myself or I can be healthy and I can lose weight. This is not a, I can love myself and have a great business, but you know, I have to sacrifice my well being. No, no, no. These all feed into each other. One feeds into the next, feeds into the next, feeds into the next. So if you have ever thought, Loving myself is going to make me fat and lazy. I really just want to invite you to see that as a false statement. There is no truth in that at all. And I want to invite you to put that down. Now, if what I have said today has been triggering for you, if it has brought some, but Katie, but Katie, what about this? But Katie, what about this? If it has brought some of that to the surface, you are invited to book a call with me. Okay, so as of the time of this airing, I, and, and I expect into the future, I don't see this stopping anytime soon, 
but I always, every week, have at least a couple of spots open in my calendar for free calls. And this is a call for you if you're going, oh, I think I want this. I think I want to, you know, jump into self-love, but I, I don't know how, or I'm feeling really stuck, or I have so many hesitations and questions, and I'm having a lot of those butt Katie's come up. That's what these calls are for. So if you feel called, if this feels like the right thing for you, I want to invite you to book one of these calls. And as you and I, we jump on, I do these on Zoom. We will jump on a Zoom call together and actually talk about you, what you want, what are your desires, where are your challenges. We will look at all three parts of this loop this sort of health and well-being and weight, self-love and visibility in your business. We will look at all three of them and see where you're stuck and what you want and actually together make a plan to get you out of those, to get you out of that stuck place. So if you are feeling called, there is a link in the show notes to book a call. Please uh, go ahead and do so. I would absolutely love to chat with you. And even if booking a call does not feel like the right fit for you right now, that is totally fine. I would love to connect with you over on Facebook or on Instagram. I am on both. Come on over and join me on whatever platform you love. The links to both of those are in the show notes as well. Thank you for being here and thank you for listening. I hope that this has quelled some of those fears, some of those hesitations, and really helped to open up your mind so that you can see exactly what self-love is, what it isn't, and how it will positively impact every single part of your life. Have a beautiful day. Here is to you loving all that you are.